yeah hi uh, so in this video we are going to see about uh, the canvas banner auto scrolling banner with an indication how we can do that in a shift ui okay so let's set uh, this is our old application only as like we did the form and we did a bottom navigation all those, those things so i am just going to do some small correction in it i'll just create one thing profile view okay so i'm going to move all the things from the home view to the profile view because i'm going to do that one in this home view okay so this home view to this profile view and this one to this home view okay so i just added those things now you can see so we'll start at uh, creating the banner view so we are going to create a banner view with uh, things and then we are, we are going to uh create a indicator for that with the appropriate animations uh, left and right animations and right and left animations okay so those things we are going to do text okay okay so now we, we can see the preview so let's uh, let's get started how to do this one and all those things we are i'm going to just show you how all things will work so okay yeah you can see the preview of the blank screen right so just um, yeah yeah so uh, we you can uh, see uh, the preview so let's let's get started so i'm just going to add few images first of all in the assets okay so i'll just add how oh, what is the image i'm just going to take three images okay so these three images i'm going to take okay i just added so i'm just renaming it it to banner one banner 2 banner 3 okay so banner 1 banner 2 banner 3 i'm just rename it so i'm just going to use these three images uh, in my home screen banners okay so first of all uh, in the home screen we are going to use uh, tab view only for these things so first of all uh, for tab view we need to add one current screen index right so let's uh, start at the state uh, private where current index is equal to zero okay current index is zero and i'm going to add all the banner images over here let images is equal to array of okay uh, we are going to add underscore one okay banner two banner three okay so these are the banner one banner two banner three things so now i am going to create one banner separately it's like it's like a struct banner struct okay so in that i am going to do that uh, uh, tab view things okay okay uh, struct banner view view so inside banner view view i we, we need to have a body some view okay so inside view i'm going to add tab view okay tab view so tab view we have a selection okay selection we are going to add so we we'll just we didn't create that, that uh, current index right so at binding where index okay current index is equal to int okay so to that we are going to pass the list also inside here so we are going to pass the list over here okay let banner images array of okay what is it? array of string okay banner images array of string so this banner images and array of string so here we are going to pass current index okay this current index so inside tab view we are going to do a loop of this banner image okay because that don't only will bind this one okay for each for each in the for each 0 to greater than sorry less than banner images dot count okay so inside that we will get index in okay in the index through this index in i am going to image so in the image banner images index okay banner images index okay after that we are going to add some properties to re as a reusable corner radius is 10 okay padding should be 10 then frame i just add height only 100 not 100 400 okay scale scale to fit we can see okay 
scale to fit and tag should be index okay so tag should be index so these things are uh, i added so if i just run it it should be preview if okay we we didn't add it over here okay so we'll instead of this text we'll add this banner view okay so banner images banner images here uh, do two way binding current index okay so i'm just showing so it will be preview over here you can see okay this one is like so now we added a banner so you can scroll the banner actually okay uh so I actually this is a preview that's so why it's not uh, i don't know so it, you can scroll the banner actually so uh before scrolling the banner we need to do auto scrolling okay so we have to auto we need to add auto scrolling so for that okay so we can't scroll because we need to have a pager and style okay tab view style we didn't add okay pager page okay tab page view style okay in this that index dot mode dot never okay so if you uh, do this you can scroll it will scroll and in this on appear we are going to add some logic it needs to change the tab you think so you, you can scroll right now right so you need in this logic we are going to do like it needs to uh what is that it needs to scroll the automatically scroll the application okay so for that uh, i'm going to create one application see now i'm going to create one function okay function auto scroll okay so inside auto scroll i'm going to add one timer timer okay timer dot schedule timer with interval all those things so with interval we are going to have three okay three seconds okay then uh, repeat should be true so this block uh, i am taking this block as a lambda function okay so in that lambda function timer in okay so inside this uh, lambda function in the inside this block we are going to use current index is equal to i'm going to add uh, current index plus one okay percentage of banner image dot count okay so if the banner image is equal to it like that so now this auto scroll function i need to auto scroll okay so now if i save this one means it will scroll uh, for each three minutes it will change the images e three seconds sorry each three, you can see i didn't scroll that one it is changing for each three seconds okay so now it is scrolling randomly right so we are going to add some animations like a smooth slider okay so how we can do the animations okay so we already did one animation video like that the so same thing kind of animations we are going to do it over here so because the thing is i'm going to so each the, each one is the image right so inside each things i'm going to add at state we are going to add on state property okay we are going to offset change the offset is equal to 0, 0.0 okay so i'm going to add the offset like mm, 0, 0.0 okay where is that x x is equal to offset okay so our offset currently it is 0, 0.0 but when it is on appear and on disappear we are going to change that one okay on appear and on disappear i'm going to change the offset with with animations okay with animation uh, i'm going to change it like here that is ec in okay offset is equal to 100.0 okay so the same thing here this is minus 100 okay minus 100 so here this art inside auto scroll also this current changer with animation okay with animation i am going to do this okay ja, now if i am running this one so it, you can see the transaction smoothly like that okay so it will come actually this is okay so this one smoothly is translating yeah you can see it right so from this one uh, so yeah this is a smooth transaction so you can see it it is a good one so now we are going to add a indicator for that okay so how we can add an indicator the same like banner we are going to create one struct like for the struct banner banner indicator okay so banner indicator uh, extends view view it should be like sorry where 
body okay so this will be written like that so here also here we are not going to use the uh, tab tab view okay so instead of tab view we are going to use here have a hashtag hashtag okay hashtag and the same thing what we are using here banner this one and this one okay so these two things we are going to use it over here uh, but this one is a integer because we need only count okay int and this banner image not not ban banner count okay so these two things so inside here same thing we are going to loop it like for each for each okay so zero dot dot less than count okay index in okay so now we are going to uh, create the process of circle uh, so we added a circle fill okay so in that fill we are going to change it like um what's it what is it so sorry banner count okay we missed okay count so here i uh, what i'm going to do is um index is equal to equal to current index means i'm going to color dot blue else color dot gray gray okay so this is the color and frame should be with this 10 height is 10 okay so now uh, i'm just calling this one we didn't call this yet so this should be a v stack okay v stack banner indicator so this one is banner image dot count this one is current index current index should be bindable okay so now i am just running so you can see the banner at the bottom okay so whenever the scroll changes the banner should change okay so this is event so for uh, indicator you can notice though that is changing blankly so there is no animation over there but we are going to add animation for that so it will be a smooth transaction so i am just showing showing you like uh, we just uh, did in uh, our bottom navigation tutorial we added a namespace so we added a namespace okay private where hmm. anime uh, no no need of animation name some uh, indicator namespace okay so here uh, i'm going to do two things so uh, we did uh, we did the condition over here right instead of doing here i'm going to do commonly okay if this one is there i'm going to show this circle okay this one is there i'm going to show this circle and else i am going to show the same circle but different color okay so this is uh, this is a blue color the first one is a blue one the second one is a gray one okay this one is a gray one okay so if it is not selected it should be gray if it is selected it should be uh, blue okay so now what it will do we are i'm going to add the my um, matching geometry okay matching geometry so the id should be anything you can give like uh, indicator the namespace should be indicator namespace okay so now i don't want to do anything it will automatically translate like a smooth animation bubble animation so you can see it over here okay so it should apply after running. yeah you can see it over here right you can just check the animation so this is the animation we are trying to do over here so see so this is uh what we did uh yeah so uh banner animation so you can do the animation same animation for that banner also you can move it like that so yeah this is about the video i think this would be helpful for there's a lot more video about shift ui or android application something something just subscribe and hit like button so okay. thank you